Today, we are going to start working on the Frontier DM5060 again. So what are we doing? We're gonna go ahead, all, all we're gonna to do today, first off, we're gonna change the oil in the gearbox. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna show you where the plugs are and all that kind of stuff. I'm also gonna show you uh, how to change oil uh, in the cutter bar on this thing. Uh, I got lucky. I went down to the John Deere place and they were able to help me out with a owner's manual. We got an owner's manual now. We know what to do here. Uh, this is a little bit different than some of the other cutters I've been around. But let's get you in here. Let's take a look at this real quick. I'm going to show you real quick where some of the where some of the part, pieces and parts are that we need to get to. So in case you're wondering, yes, the tractor's running. But that's okay. Right here is a vent plug. This plug right here needs to be removed. But down here on the bottom, if you look down right in there, you'll see another plug. That's your drain plug. Now here's, here's the deal. In order for me to change this gear lube on this gearbox, I have to pull the plug out first on the bottom. And I take the plug out on top. Then I have to raise the gearbox up in the air to let it drain into a bucket. And that's that bottom hole down there. And once that's drained out, then I have, to put, I have to lower it back down, put the plug back in, and basically put three quarters of a, uh, of a quart of 90 weight gear lube in it. And that, that's how you do this one. Supposedly, there's supposed to be a, uh, there's supposed to be a dipstick in the top of this thing. It's not there, okay? Uh, it doesn't even look like it ever had a dipstick in it. So I don't know where the dipstick went or if it ever even had one. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the top plug, we're gonna pull the bottom plug, we're gonna drain the oil out of it, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put three quarters of a quart, we're gonna put three quarters of a quart of oil back in it. Let's see what that does. And then we're going to raise the cutter bar and get all the oil out of the gearbox. There we go. Alright, while that's draining, I'm going to show you where the plugs are to the uh, cutter bar real quick. So you have to have it raised up in the air like this and then you have a plug right here. That plug you have to remove in order to get the gear the cutter bar drained and you have to do it while it's up too. So we're going to go ahead and pull that and allow that to drain as well. Not even tight really. So there is a magnet on the end. Very little on it. There is something on it, it's just not very much. Okay, this is, your fill plug is in between your first hat and your second hat, um, or your blade covers or your blade attachers. I don't care what you call them, but anyways, these are, I call them hats. You have, it's in between the first one and the second one. Right here's your hole, you fill up to this hole. Supposedly, it is supposed to be 2.85 quarts of oil. Yeah, 2.85, think about that for a minute. A little over two and three quarters so it might be 2.85 but we're going to fill it up until it runs out this hole and that's the way i know to do it anyways all right that's one quarter all right we got the gearbox oil changed in this thing we got the cutter bar oil changed in this thing. It's ready to go hit the field for a little while. We've already greased it and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully I have it on correctly now. I tell you what, I've never used a disc cutter. This is my first time. And uh, it's been a challenge figuring it out. Every one of these operator manuals, they're not that good in, in my opinion. Uh, they don't really give you much explanation on anything. Figuring out how to change oil in the gearbox was hard enough. and. Uh, even though there was some diagrams there talks about it, it didn't talk about how to 
how to you know where your oil levels are supposed to be it didn't talk about that it just said it had a dipstick which it does not have a dipstick now that doesn't mean it didn't at one time have one but it doesn't have one now today we got the gearbox oil changed and we got the disc bar oil changed on this thing this thing's ready to go to the field probably hopefully the next time you see this thing we're gonna be cutting grass but until next time thanks <laughs>